This is Retrobatch, our newest Mac app. Retrobatch is a node-based image processor, which means that you can load up a folder of images and apply the same operations over and over again to tens, hundreds, even thousands of images. It's not like a normal batch processor where everything is configured in a straight line. Instead, you get to pick and choose what comes and goes, and you can even branch off and filter images out. Let's get started with a simple demo. So for this example, we're going to prepare a folder of images for use on our fictitious website. Um, we'll drag and drop a folder of images onto our canvas, which will create a new folder node. Now we can click on this folder and it will show you what the images look like going through this node. Um, now since there's nothing happening to our images right now, we can just pan through and see what they look like. We can also zoom in and scroll around. And this preview is powered by metal, so it's nice and fluid and fast and that makes us happy. Uh, the next thing we're going to want to do is add a uh, scaling node. So I'm just going to search for resize real quick. And there's our scale node. Just drag and drop that over here. And we're going to change it to a fixed width of 800. Um, you can see right here our preview has already updated. Um, look at this at 100%. And then if we click over here, this will show it at the original size and you know what it would look like if the node was coming out over here. Let's say we wanted, just for the heck of it, we'd could add a color invert node, and now when I click on that, you'll see that it shows what the image would look like after that. But that's not what we want. Um, what we actually want to do is write out our folder of images, and we're going to replace all the existing images, and just for the heck of it, we're going to convert it to Apple's new format called HEIC, and we're going to go ahead and run those. And here are all of our images. I'm going to double click on that, and sure enough, it's 800 pixels wide. We'll double click that one, 800 pixels wide. Now, um, our boss wants to make our website responsive. Um, so we're going to have a 2x image uh, variant of all these images. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop the scale node again. And I'm going to change it to the fixed width of 1600. And there's our image with those new dimensions. And I am going to also write those out to the uh, folder. But this time, I'm going to add a little at 2x token. Um, so this will create two copies of our images, one with the original file name and one with at 2x on them. I'm going to go ahead and run that. And you can see in the background while it's running that indeed our images are here. And I'm going to open those up, and here's the uh, 2x version, 1600, and there's the 800 pixel wide version. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and let that finish, but you can see this is uh, pretty powerful, and you're going to be able to do a lot of different things with uh, Retrobatch.